Nick Torque is with a company called Our Next Energy One, or they call it. Nick, you guys have been talking about batteries for electric cars, but now you're going beyond electric cars. Tell us what you got here at the show. Yeah, really exciting development. We have our Aries Grid product here for the first time, which is a 3.5 megawatt hour station. So, so explain, what do you mean by that? Well, basically, this is a battery that's capable of being paired with renewable energy systems, solar or wind, storing energy and feeding it back into the grid when it's needed. So, and, and it's the display on the wall here, if you can show that, it's just what? Stacks and stacks of batteries. Huh? Yeah, it actually takes 45 of our Aries LFP packs that are normally used in commercial vehicles and puts them together in a system um, and essentially uses those battery packs as a module. So the idea is when the sun's shining, the wind's blowing, you might have excess uh, electricity, you just store it in the batteries and use it when you need it. Exactly, there's a ton of demand for this product. Um, it's really important because the IRA actually provides uh, more incentives for stationary storage than it does even for automotive. So you're showing it at the show. Are you guys ready to start selling these things? Absolutely, yeah. We'll have our UL certification done by the end of the year at our first customer, which is Berkshire Hathaway Energy Renewables. Uh, and so then, you got customers already? Absolutely, yeah. Um, we, um, we have our first project in Ravenswood, West Virginia, uh, cool country, uh, paired with Berkshire Hathaway, and uh, we're going to be deploying this uh, beginning next year. Wait a minute. There's a whole other story. You're bringing renewable energy to coal country. You can create jobs there. Yep, that's uh, very exciting. Uh, it's really fun to be part of that project because you know coal is something that was a really big part of West Virginia's economy and there's frankly a lot of towns like Ravenswood that uh, will benefit from the, the, green, the green jobs that uh, this product will bring. We'll actually be making it in Ravenswood. So one, one of the things I understand is by coal generating plants, all the electric is just hooked up so instead of burning coal to put a juice into the lines as it were, you can just take the stored energy and put it in. Exactly. There's already a lot of infrastructure in that site, so that helps kind of make this an easier project than it normally would be, but um, it's really exciting. So what's, you know, like the cost, kilowatt hour, this kind of approach versus burning coal? Well, you know, really it depends on the overall project cost and the, the cost to deploy the solar or wind. Um, obviously, the energy storage is a component of it, but now with energy storage costs falling for a stationary product like this, it suddenly makes projects viable that might not have been in the past. So we see a huge amount of growth for this sort of product in North America and the world. So at this show, I mean, we're, we're in the Detroit area, so automotive centric. How much interest is there in this grid storage? Well, I think, you know, the battery show, traditionally people think of it more as automotive, uh, but I think even with auto companies, you know, they're looking for ways to improve their ESG profile for factories and other sites. So I think there's quite a bit of interest uh, from the industry, you know, in deploying the stationary product as well. Oh, cool. Nick, thanks for your time, man. Always oh, good to time. see you. Yeah, really enjoyed it.